just because you have a system that is simple does not mean that the job is easy. <laughs> That's true. And, and it's, you know, anyone that can plug into a system but have the other side of that create massive, massive results takes an insane amount of work, sacrifice, discipline, and all those things. And that's what this entire podcast is all about. When you're in sales and you're following the system, doing all the processes correctly, but no one is buying. And you're doing everything that the system told you, the training told you, everything, um, but no one is buying. How do you keep yourself from getting discouraged? So, the, I mean, the way you would keep yourself from getting discouraged is by trusting the process. The only way you can trust the process is if you have examples and stories of others that have done the same. And so, you look at a career that you're entering into and you've just gone through the training and the onboarding and you've learned this system and now you're going out and implementing that. Do you have other people in that company that have done the same thing and have gotten good results? That's obviously important. Um, but trusting the process, there's a difference between trusting the process and blindly trusting the process. And I think that's where having those stories, um, not just having the stories, but being able to reach out to those people, being able to reach out to someone that maybe is just a few months down the road from where you are and to talk to them, just being open and transparent. It's kind of one of those things where you have to lose your ego and say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm struggling. I feel like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I feel like I'm doing everything they've told me to do, but I'm not getting the results. Like, what am I missing? What am I doing? What you may find in that person that you talk to is they may say, man, I felt the exact same way. Um, I experienced the exact same thing during that process, but I promise you, if you just keep on pushing and keep doing those things that you're supposed to do, you're going to have success and you're going to create some momentum. Uh, so I think that's that's uh, super important. Um, not to get discouraged, uh, not to get down on yourself. Uh, a lot of it is the little things. Sounds funny, a lot of it is the little things. Sometimes the biggest things are the little things. And so when you talk about a system in sales, that usually involves a script. And you could have a script down perfect, but it could be one word one phrase and it's not that you're not saying that word or phrase it may be in the way you're saying that word or phrase because i can take a script hudson can take a script caitlin can take a script and we can all deliver it word for word but it's going to come across very differently because of our personalities and so it's really looking at those things like again reaching out to someone that's already been through what you're going through and role playing with them and, and saying hey man do you mind if i if i go through this script with you and just uh, get your feedback on it and just going through those scripts and they may find, hey man, when you said that one thing right there, it just it really didn't come across in the right way that I think you were trying to, um, uh, trying, to, to trying to deliver it. What if you tried it this way? And then all of a sudden you make that one change, again, that one word, that one little phrasing, and it makes the, all the difference in the world. But the biggest thing uh, in, in a new career and establishing yourself and getting you know off the ground running is making sure that there are people that have followed the system and made it work and have been successful. If there's not, it's probably not the right system. Uh, but if there are, then being willing to reach out to those people. What I know about those people that are succeeding is they are more than willing, should be more than willing to help you through that process because they were just there months, years ago. Uh, and that's what I love about my role now in training uh, because I'm training people on the system, but I worked that system and had success. So as I'm training them on it and helping them with it and supporting them through it, I'm speaking from a place of having been there and done it and seen the results, but also having been there, done it, and had bad results in the very beginning and improved upon those and ultimately became successful through that system. So I think that's the most important thing. A lot of times it's funny, I hear uh, companies talk about their um, struggles with recruiting and struggles with onboarding people. And that's the first thing I ask them. I'm like, well, do you have success stories from people that have come through this training process and that have used this system and have had great results? Because if you haven't, then maybe it's the system.
<laughs> you know, maybe it's not the person, maybe it's just the system isn't right or the system hasn't developed um, fully yet. Uh, so being able to have those types of um, modeling, like those types of people that you can just do what they've done, but then also be able to talk to them through that process is going to be huge towards getting past, kind of getting over the hump of, of the beginning phases of starting a sales career and, and ultimately finding your, your path. Thank you.